In this video, we're going to look at creating a course in my math lab. To get started, you need to go to the website, Pearson My Lab and Mastering will get you there, or you can type in My Math Lab. Either one of these is going to get you to this website that you can sign in. I would recommend bookmarking that on your home computer or your workstation computer, put it on your desktop, and that way you never have to type it in again. Um, and then once you get here, you're just going to enter in your credentials. And then if you've taught any courses in the past, then you will have um, courses listed on the left hand side. For courses that you are not currently teaching, you'll see this courses you are not currently teaching and courses listed below that. Anything above that um, is still live. So let's say you need to create create a brand new course. So you would click the create or copy course up at the top left and then go to copy course. You're either going to copy one of your own so if you've taught using my math lab before this course then you would just search for it in the list and your list is probably shorter than mine. Um, just find the course that you want to roll over and copy. If this is your first time then you will need to copy another instructor's course. And you're going to need a course ID for that. In Angel, in the Mathematics Department shell, I'm going to open that up real quick. If you go into Lessons, and there's a My Math Lab folder, Getting Started in My Math Lab, I have generic simple course IDs for my Math Lab courses. So if you've never created a course before and you need to copy a course, go here and here's the course ID you're going to need. So let's say you want to create an intermediate algebra with review course. I'm just going to highlight and copy and then I'm going to go back to my create or copy a course screen and I'm going to right click and paste. So this code is going to allow me to create a course. Now I can go in and I can name it. Um, I'm going to call Spring 2014 Intermediate Algebra with help if I could spell review. This is the title that you'll see on your screen. This is also what the students will see when they log in. So you want to make sure that it's something that they're going to recognize. Um, I've had people in the past put just like math class um, or math for smarties or something like that. So you can be as creative as you want. Um, if you teach multiple courses, you might want to incorporate either a CRN number or a way to differentiate between the two. Um, maybe you have a day class and a night class. Maybe you put intermediate algebra with review in you know, Wednesday class or intermediate al algebra with review Tuesday class. You can really differentiate however you want. The description the students aren't going to see necessarily. They're just going to see the course name. For student enrollment, of course you want for student enrollment. The start enrollment start date, that just means when can students start enrolling in your course. Um, I'm just going to leave it today. It doesn't matter uh, what you put there. The students can't access your course until you give them a code. So don't worry about anybody logging into your class too soon. Enrollment end date. Since courses start on the 21st, um, I'm probably just going to put in February 21st. I mean, hopefully we don't have anybody enrolling in your course that late already into a semester. Uh, but that way you, you just avoid going and having to change that later. You can put whatever date you want. Um, you can put the end of January. That's totally up to you. Course start date um, just floods in whatever the enrollment start date is. And then the course end date, I'm just going to pick the end of May. And you can put in the specific date if you want. Make sure you click available for copy. That way in future semesters you can copy your own course. And don't worry, anything that you put here you can always go in and edit later. And then click create course now. Eventually this is going to create a course that you will be able to see um, live in your list of courses. Um, Right now, if I go to my list of courses, I won't be able to access my course yet. It usually takes a couple minutes for that. So it, this generates a new code that you will then turn around and give to your students. It'll, get, it'll put in your last name, 
and then a five, uh, five digits after that. And I will show you how to create a handout with that information. Oh, and there's my email telling me that my course is created. So I can actually go now back to my courses page. And there it is right there, Spring 2014 Intermediate Algebra with Review. If I click into the details, this is everything I just put in. My course creation date, um, enrollment date, uh, enrollment end date, course start date, course end date, of course the name of my course, the course ID associated with this course, is it available for copy? Yes. If for any reason you wanted to edit any of this information, you can just click on edit course and then you can go in and change anything that you want. Um, what I want to point out to you right now is the student registration handout. What this does is it creates a unique handout for your class that has the course ID that the students will need to successfully register in your course. So this is nice to have um, either the first night of class. If you want to have copies ready for your students, you can. Um, some instructors just uh, project this up onto the screen. I usually just print one hard copy for myself and when I'm walking around handing students or helping students register then I have this in my hand. Um, what I would highly recommend is that you save a copy of it and then and you can see I've already got one there or it's going to do one for me is save a copy and upload it to your Angel course shell. So if anybody happened to miss, cl uh, miss class that night that you helped students register then you can just send them an email saying that the directions for registering in my math lab can be found in Angel and that way they don't get that far behind. They can go ahead and register on their own. They don't have to do it in class with you. So I would just recommend saving a copy and uploading it to your Angel, maybe in the Read Me First documents area or in the course content area. And now I can just go back and I can see if I need to create any more courses, then I can do that now. Um, the next step that you would want to do is in your course is going in and adjust due dates and I will do that in another video.